when we look at the fact like uh, uh, today, uh, young people in general are going through so much of identity crisis, low self-esteem, and uh, there's so much uh, happening because they're not able to accept themselves for who God created them to be. There's so much of pressure that's laid out because of the filters on social media. There's all these advertisements which has pictured what is meant as you know ideal or what is idealism or whatever they call it. You know, so in that regard, like as an individual, are there things in your life that you found different difficult to accept yourself uh, in or maybe a personality trait or a characteristic and you found it really hard to accept and if you did how do you deal with it and how can those who are listening and watching can also uh, deal with it and accept themselves for who God created them to be um, when I used to be younger um, whenever I would feel like I am a very um, uh, I feel like maybe I'm like too overbearing or like people think I'm like a burden um, or okay. the things that I say are like kind of annoying and things like that. I would think like, oh no, I have to like not be like too um, open and loud and like uh, chatty or else people won't like me and things like that. Um, uh, you know, some people will say, if you do this, then people won't like you. You know, when you're younger, people would say that. <laughs> Uh, that used to really get to me. I would really uh, think about that a lot and think, oh, no, I've, I shouldn't speak that much. I shouldn't say this. Um, I should behave in a certain way and things like that. Th some things that are in my personality, I would try to uh, change about myself. Uh, but then as I grew older, I realized um, people are just so busy that they don't even recognize or like even like uh, uh like see uh, that um, uh, closely enough to even like pick that apart and be like, oh, she's annoying. You know, this the things that she does in this way is um, wrong. You know, uh, people go through this when we when they have social anxiety. You know, uh, I don't want people to hate me. That kind of a, a mindset. Um, I used to have that, uh, but then as people pleasing kind, right? Pardon. No, you said like please, people pleasing yeah. kind of a mindset. You want them to like you. Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't do certain things because I thought they wouldn't like it. But then as I grew older, people have so much going on in their own lives that they don't even, they might not even like notice it. So just be yourself, be bubbly, you know, there'll be a certain group of people who will automatically attach with you because uh, they like those uh, personality traits. They like those characteristics, and the people who are that who are for you will come and connect with you. And that's how um, I've like been gelling with uh, my group of friends. Even though we're all different, but then um, we uh, encourage each other, and like it's never a judgmental zone. Um, there's no judgment between each other, putting each other down or saying like sarcastic comments to put each other down, but it's always like in good fun and uh, uh, lighthearted uh, fun and things like that. So uh, we should never say, uh, oh, I should be like this. Uh, people might think if I'm, if I'm like this, people might think something wrong about me and things like that. Just be yourself and always have a good intention of however uh, you're presenting yourself and uh, the things that you do behind the things that you say. Um, so yeah, everyone is unique. And uh, yeah, you definitely have a place in this world. You should never feel like you are a misfit. Um, it's good to stand out sometimes, and be unique. Absolutely true. Just be who God has created you to be. Like every piece of a puzzle, it seems stupid till you understand without that, the puzzle won't make any sense, right? So every one of us are in the puzzle of God. And when you were sharing about, you know, what other people think, I was reminded of this statement people say, you know, at 20 years of age, we wonder what will people think of us. At 40, we wonder like, okay, 
uh, I don't care what people think about us. At 60, we realized that nobody was even thinking about us. So yeah. Yeah. in that regard, we realized like, okay, there's no point in living for other people. By the end of the day, you have to give an account to God for your life. And that's based on how you are living to your true identity and purpose that God has created you for. Hey, I hope you were blessed by this video. And I really encourage you to subscribe to this channel to get more such content, which will bless you, edify you, and help you live the life that God has for you as well. I also encourage you to check out my daily podcast, Fuel for the Soul with John Gifta. By the grace of God, it's been trending across the globe, making an impact for the kingdom of God. To check out my books, especially my latest one, Unveil Your Purpose, which became a number one new release on Amazon. To stay plugged in through a social media for regular inspirations on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. To check out the weekly podcast where my messages get dubbed into Tamil. You can get more details at www.johngifta.com. And also, if you have been blessed by this ministry and you would like more people to be blessed by the ministry. I encourage you to support us financially. If you're in India, you can support us through Google Pay or net banking. Or if you're anywhere around the world, you can support us through PayPal. And all the details are in the description. And I hope you were blessed and you would stay plugged in. And I will see you back next time. God bless you.